I woke up extremely early this morning. I have about three and a half hours in this bike. About two and a half hours. And I think I got somewhere. Because I have my jump box hooked up. And when I hit the start button, I get spark on the fourth cylinder. Got spark on both of those. And then this boot goes to cylinder two. And then there's another boot that goes to cylinder three. I saw spark. So we have spark. That's probably the easy part. I haven't tried anything else. The only thing I've done off camera is work with this and check cylinder four. So I'm glad to see the other ones work. I installed all four spark plugs. I have all four spark plug wires all set up. Now I got my gas and I got my jump starter. Let's see what happens. At this point, I have not given up. I actually got sparks, so that's a good thing. Do I have it timed right is the, is the question. In order to find that out, I actually have to do some carburetor work, get all the carburetors cleaned out, put a gas tank on it, and just try to fire it up, see what happens. But I think I'm on the right path. I'm 80% positive I am. I feel like Edison, man, I feel like Edison. These carburetors have to serve a purpose. They have to give the engine the right amount of fuel. When I was taking off each float bowl, I was hoping that underneath there was something that didn't have a lot of corrosion, something that wasn't very dirty. But the complete opposite happened. I'm actually disappointed in what I see. And all that means is it's gonna take more time and more effort and potentially more money to get these things rocking and rolling. Kind of stinks. This piece of cardboard is working out clutch. And my ring guards came in, so that worked like I got free ring guards. And I got a free like carburetor box, so thank you Brady, I appreciate it. So this was the first carburetor, second carburetor, third, fourth. Here are my set screws. As you can see, I got all different sorts of numbers here so that I can put them in that spec that they were already at. I'm not saying that is right, but what I am saying is the closer I can get to where they were, hopefully that was on the right track. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's been a few hours since I spoke with you. I got two carburetors done, which is really, really good. These two should be completely done. These two are completely torn apart. I've never adjusted four carburetors. I've never timed four cylinders. Why I bought a 1000, I don't know. But I guess it's a learning experience. There's, there's no point in fretting it or getting nervous or getting anxious. I'm enjoying my time just because I'm going through a couple struggles here and there and I have to dedicate a little bit more time. I'm still enjoying the process and that's what it's about. You always wanna find the good in everything. Here's a good example for everybody. Everybody has to go to work and everybody has to go to school. Everybody has to make some sort of money. Saying that, when you go to school, even if seven and a half hours is bull crap, find 30 minutes to, to be appreciative about and then start working a little bit more every day. Then 35 minutes, then 40 minutes, then 45 minutes and, and soon you'll get so appreciative and you'll just like even people that nag you and 
and complain like the haters in my in my comment section. They they bitch and complain about something I did or something I did wrong when 95% of the video I'm I'm progressing, I'm doing well. But the 5% or the 1 or 2% that I that I screwed up, I bought the wrong parts or I, I didn't tighten something right or something like that. They picked the only thing bad about the video. Focus on the good. That's the key. Use this key I gave you. Don't throw it in the garbage. It's it's a very very good key. Every time I ever need a makeshift gas tank, I always rob it from the brat board. Every time. I'm sorry, brat board, but I need your gas tank because I'm almost done. I'm down to the last and dirtiest carburetor. The bowl is disgusting. I, I actually want to let that sit for a couple hours. But I also want to try to start this thing. I want to see if my timing's right. I want to see if the carburetor's clean. I, I just want to see if. I just want to see this happen. You want to see this happen. Let's, let's make it happen. <laughs> Now let me try to explain a little something about carburetors for you that don't know a lot about carburetors. These hoses coming off the bottom here, these are the overflow hoses. And what that means is if the carburetor gets too much fuel and something's wrong inside the carburetor that's not shutting off, the, the fuel will actually flow out of this hose and not harm the engine and not go into the oil and mix with the oil and, and cause bad lubrication. So it's like a safety feature. Now I'm going to hook up the gas tank for the first time and I'm hoping these are these all are clean. There was one of them clogged. I'm hoping to not see any fuel come out because if there's fuel coming out, then we have a problem. Wish me luck. Okay, my small little gas tank is completely full. So far so good. Very good, very, very good. I'm going to wear a glove and I'm going to wear ear protection because the ear protection is just like my sort of, it makes me feel safe for some reason. And then the glove because I don't want this thing backfiring and throw and throw fire at my hand because I'm actually going to hold the choke open. But I'm ready to fire it up, as crazy as that sounds. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Attempt one, fail. I mean, it shot a flame, so it's got spark and it's got fuel. Obviously, I was dumping it down its throat. I've decided that I'm going to get resourceful. Instead of me wasting time trying to figure out how those points work and not really progressing, I mean, yeah, it would give me a perfect opportunity to learn a little bit more about points and condensers. But at the same time, I want to get to where I want to get to. Dear Mr. Duramax, hey Dalton, hope you're feeling froggy fresh today. Oh, I am. I am Bryson Beakley. I live in northern Indiana and I'm 14 years old. I am a huge fan of your vlogs. Thank you, Bryson. This is awesome. And thank you for the face masks. They will come in handy when it comes to snowmobile season or like the cold motorcycle season. Let me try to put it into perspective. So say you go to a horse race. Are you going to bet on the fastest horse or the slowest horse? Or a horse in the middle? You bet on the horse that'll get the job done. It's like me trying to invest in the stock market and say I had connections with Warren Buffett. Why would I risk trying to learn about stocks and stuff when he's already good at it? Just give him the money if he's only going to charge me a small percentage and let him do the work for me. It's the same kind of lingo. Jordan H, thank you very much for the Bombardier sticker. I know you sent this to me a long time ago. I'm finally getting to it. Sorry, but thank you. The most important thing when it comes to the entire experience is I didn't give up right away. That counts for some. Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Smith. That's a wrench pen. This is an, also another piece of fan mail that came in a long time ago that I wish I got to. It's from Greg from Reno, Nevada. Love the videos, man. Keep them up. I notice you always unlock the Duramax manually. Yes, I... This is going to come in clutch because I'm sure I'm ticking off my neighbors every once in a while because I go to unlock my vehicle and the alarm goes off. So thank you, Greg, and thank you for the instructions. You stay froggy fresh as well. Yesterday, I advised you guys to go check out the online store that my girlfriend and I have been working on. And uh, I got a lot of positive feedback in the comment section, so, so thank you very much. And we also got some orders, so thank you. We appreciate it. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you. Hey 3D Machines, this is my plate off my Dakota. It was a Dirty Dodge, hence the name Dirty D. Stay froggy fresh, Adam Z. Thank you. Thank you, Adam Z. So this wraps up this 3D Machines production. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. I hope to get that motorcycle up to the mechanic as soon as possible so that we can get this gator rocking and rolling. That's about it. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.